So, um, Oscar, first of all, congratulations uh, to your offer from McKinsey and uh, Company. So, um, uh, maybe you, you start first uh, about when are you actually going to start working there? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jorn. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm going to work, I'm going to start next week, actually. Oh, okay. So, this is pretty close, actually. So, yeah, um, yeah uh, something to, to look forward into. So, the first um, a couple of weeks at the firm are very, very special. So you will learn um, uh, to, to, or you get to know a lot of very interesting people starting at the same time. You will learn about uh, what's expected from you. You will learn uh, some basic skill sets uh, of working at McKinsey. Um, it might sound a little bit uh, overwhelming, uh, but it's still uh, one of the best times uh, you will uh, look back uh, once you have progressed with your career. So that's great. Um, maybe let's let's start directly with the first question. So, um, how did you hear about us, and when did you decide to um, yeah to start taking our help? Yeah, thanks. So, yeah, basically, uh, when I received the offer, I I received the uh, the the, um, the, uh, the the email to interview with McKinsey. I didn't have much practice interviewing. I, I hadn't been interviewing like in years, or even more like since. I don't know, the last six years, I, I didn't interview at all, uh, maybe maybe one or a couple, but very, very different. And I was surprised by the, uh, the structure of the whole uh, recruiting process of McKinsey, which was this behavioral part and this case part. And I also, I remember I make a mock uh, case with someone, uh, with a friend, and I realized I was significantly underprepared for this. And then I start uh, looking for some, uh, yeah, coaching, in the internet, uh, uh, Googling different sources, Facebook, and my my partner and I realized that this was this it looked like by far the the, the biggest, the most comprehensive with more reviews. Uh, some people I I had, in, for example, in my LinkedIn had been in the program. So yeah, it it, it, was, it, it didn't have a second close in terms of uh, impression on of material and of uh, ambition also. For the preparation. Oh, very cool. Um, so looking back, so what would you say has helped you most thriving throughout that journey? Yes, the, that's a good question. Um, so I think there are four, four things. Uh, first, the, the structure uh, of the program. They, it, it, it's really helpful, especially at the beginning, like to have a structure of what different, for example, for the case part, what type of cases you can follow, what type of reasoning or strategies you can use to deal with the cases, which was, I think the case was the most challenging part for me. Then the second um, the second uh, part important is also the, the pool of peers that you have. I, I, I was surprised by the amount of peers, and many of, 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 of those peers are in, in a very same situation as I am, and, and as, as me, and they took it like very professionally, the mocking interviews. It was was very uh, very helpful. I and, and actually I made um, a few friends from there. So it was it was also that 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 I think it was very key. Then the third part was um, the polishing of the, the for the behavioral part. I I had my stories, but you John really helped me to craft them like very very nice and very solid. I had. Uh, six very, very solid stories. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself, I, and I realized that later after I was second meeting, polishing them. And finally, the last aspect, and in my case, this is a particular of the position that I applied, there was a knowledge assessment as well. And also, you helped me, you gave me ideas, the structure, how I should communicate this, um, this type of questions, and that also helped me. When I, after my final run, I realized, and I was debriefing by my, myself, all the preparation I had, and I and I realized the way we prepare for that part also was key. I, I, I really love that, especially the the last part, right? Um, I mean, let's go through this one by one. Uh, with regards to the cases, it's the logic, right? It's not the frameworks, and it's just a different learning journey. It's not enough to learn things by heart and then uh, force fit like every case question into something you have learned. But you need to learn about logical reasoning, logical thinking following that logical process in order to be able to solve any case question, right? So yeah. this is what also takes the time, and this is also what is uh, complex here, right? Um, well, we are fully aware of that, um, but uh, we, we found a way to, to master this for our 
um, yeah, candidates we are working with. And um, second, with regards to the peers, you're right. Um, so we are not short on them, but it's important that you get assigned the right ones, right? So we are matching this manually uh, to make sure to find the best fit, which is mutually benefiting uh, the two peers practicing with each other, right? Um, then uh, with regards to the knowledge interview and also with regards to the PI, um, what I really need to say is you brought already so much experience and knowledge and content with you, right? So it was a pleasure for me to help you communicate this value orientated because in the end, this is what many senior or very experienced um, candidates are lacking a bit. It's not the, the wealth of these experiences mm -hmm. or the, the impact they had in the previous life, but how to communicate this in a, in a clear and concise way so mm -hmm. that the other person is actually understanding this in their language, right? Yeah. And it feels like a little bit sometimes like a translator in between <laughs> uh, something that has happened in the past that was outstanding, but to also make sure the other person is perceiving it in the same uh, yeah, impact level that it um, actually has been done before. So that uh, is, is really making me happy, right? And also you've done a great job. And when I look back on your Transformation. It was really a transformation from the very first meeting we had uh, to the very last meeting. Um, McKinley has just won a great employee, right? So I'm pretty sure about this, and there is no, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm completely convinced you're going to find your way there and really excellent. Um, so, what was your feedback after the interviews, Oscar? Yeah, so uh, in the first round, my only feedback, uh, overall, it was a uh, great, that uh, they, they told me that I did great. And uh, the only feedback was that I had to elaborate more, uh, for example, in my answer. So my answers were well structured, uh, top down, but just to elaborate a little more. And in the second round, I, I didn't receive uh, any uh, specific, specific feedback regarding how to improve. I, I just um, was told that I did great overall because, you know, b between the, the first one and the final round, I work significantly on elaborating more. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I, I, I follow their, their, their guidance there, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, no negative feedback is not happening yeah. too often in making the uh, processes, yeah. right? So, yeah. uh, congrats also for that. Um, so, maybe um, also, if, if you look at the, the new people or new candidates that are joining this whole recruiting process now, is there any suggestion you would, you would have for them, what they should look out for or what they should emphasize? Yes. So, uh, first, I think I, I will say it. Uh, is it regarding the, the time of the preparation? You should take all the time. You, you know, to be honest, I, I, I was uh, a little bit shy about, uh, for example, asking for extensions at the beginning, remember? And I was, I, I cannot believe at the beginning, I, wa I wanted to give my first interview and the whole process uh, in, in three weeks. <laughs> and, 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 you, and you, you struggled to convince me, right? <laughs> When I was, I, I oh my God. You, you, you were one of the harder cases, right? Um, yes, so I'm doing I, this on a daily basis, but you were one of the, of the harder cases here. I remember that I was talking with my partner and, and I was saying, can you believe I wanted to do this in, 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 in three weeks? And I, and I ended up taking like months uh, for preparing. So don't be shy about that. The, one of the best things about McKinsey, the McKinsey process in particular, they are pretty flexible with the time. And they tell you exactly what are they going to, what are they going to ask you? So take all the time you need. It's there's no rush, and it's a, it's a, it's like a marathon. It's not a sprint uh, to 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 get a job offer in McKinsey. You really have to take all the time you need. It's it, it doesn't make any difference. And and that is exactly the point. I mean, if you're serious about your professional future, right? Nobody cares if it's two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, or eight weeks. Like literally, yes. it, nobody cares about this. Because this is such an important step in, in, in your career. This is the accelerator of your career. This um, will multiply many of your people positions. So that means you need to be serious about this. You need to take your time to prepare. You need to prioritize this. Because if you, and, and by the way, if you're doing it right, this is not only a preparation for the interview. Right? Mm -hmm. This is a preparation for the work you will need to do on the job. That's the big difference in between learning 10 to 15 frameworks by heart, right? And then force putting them into real life situations. Because no client would pay McKinsey to do that in real life setting, right? Yes. So this is the advantage of making sure of it. learning a skill. And that's the skill to approach any strategic.
Yes, and and and, and sorry, he, he, uh, and I was I was gonna say uh, the, the second thing, other than taking all the time you need, it's like really I think uh, like a, a coaching program, and in particular this this program, uh, the MBB uh, offer machine, I think is is very good, and and I think many people hesitate because, for example. Uh, many people come from very good business schools or, or maybe good universities or had actually good jobs also. And they say, oh, okay, I, I can do it by myself. But it's, it's such a game changer like in, in, in your life, in your career, in, in, your, in your overall career, if, if you go, get into VCE or McKinsey, that it, it's totally worth it. And it, just with a, with a, with a, and in terms of the compensation, uh, the, the program is very, uh, very uh, profitable. If, if you think about it, it's no, no question about it. And, and the learning, as, as you said, it was not only for the interview, but one of the things I like and I still uh, kept for me after the interview is this way, try to uh, think uh, in a structured way, for example, top, uh, and communicating top down. That, that thing, those, those aspects last even after the interview. So I, I think it's totally worth it. Yes, and you will also notice it very soon with the peers you're starting uh, with, right, with your peer group, because there you will have a head start, right? I promise you that, and you, mm -hmm. you, you can call me out on this in a couple of months. But um, yeah, for <laughs> the moment, this is, this is the situation. And um, maybe last question here, was, was there anything that surprised you on, on, on the journey, right, Oscar? Maybe there's a last question for today. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think something that surprised me was, uh, that you really, is, is the time that, that I had to dedicate to increase the level in the cases, because for example, I, I, I was in the first month and I thought, okay, one month, it's, it's, it's not that little, right? But no, I, I, didn't, I didn't reach that level yet of um, uh, high performance, maybe in the second month. And even only in the third month, I remember, I start receiving great feedback from my peers. So, okay. I, I, many people told me, oh, you're doing great. I, I, I'm sure you're gonna get the offer, those kind of feedback. And, but that took me a while, that took me months. I, I remember that the feedback at the first month is, it's painful, right? Oh no, you have to, <laughs> you have to improve this, 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 this. And, and, and it's very useful that you get it from other people. I'm, I'm watching the videos too, that's, that's painful as well, but, but it's worth it. Yes. So that, that is actually one, one feedback we're also getting a lot. Uh, so if you see yourself performing, if you listen to yourself, right, if you um, go through your own ideas and how you verbalize them um, after, a, after a meeting, right, it, it, it's super painful. But yeah. if you are not doing this, you, you definitely lack a systematic improvement, right? Because that, it, comes, it comes from two ways. One way is what is the senior calibration you're getting, right, in order to really see where you have trouble. And mm -hmm. the other thing is then really understanding why you have that trouble, right? Mm -hmm. Because one is coming from the outside, but the other is an internal analysis, right? And nobody can do that for you. You need to do yeah. this by yourself because only you know what you have thought, what triggered you, right? What, what made you uh, take that direction. But again, um, yeah, Oscar, I, I cannot say anything else than uh, that was more than deserved. You put in a lot of work, right? We had a lot of uh, tough sessions, right? We had tough sessions. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was also not uh, not letting you go easily through that process, uh, but it was yeah. worth it. So I'm super happy for you. And this is super well deserved and uh, to a great career. So thanks for speaking to me today. Thank you so much, Jorn.